Do you have a side hustle? Or maybe you want one, you just don't know where to start? Let me share with you how one of my clients started a side hustle that's helped them make almost a million dollars. My name's Joe Moffat with Master Life by Design, and hey, if you haven't watched Best Side Hustles to Make More Money in 2021, go ahead and watch that video. You're gonna wanna check it out so you know how can you make a side hustle or extra income from a side hustle in 2021. All right, so I had a client who was working in real estate and I shared this in some of my previous videos, but I wanted to hone in on this because you wanna become a master, not a dabbler. And he was working in real estate and he was beginning his side hustle with YouTube and podcasts. And let's be honest, a lot of people nowadays, they're on, they're on the go, they're traveling to work or they're taking a road trip because you can't fly too much because of COVID. And so, or you can, but even then you're gonna listen to something, right? Or watch something. So he figured, why not get in front of most people where they are, and that's on a podcast. And nowadays, with everything going on, they're saying that video is going to overtake podcasting, and that video is going to be the mainstream of consumption moving forward. And YouTube is the what the second or third biggest search engine in the world, right? Because Google owns them and Google's the number one. And so why not utilize and tap into an audience that's there, right? You want to talk about eyeballs? How you make money is you get in front of a lot of eyeballs, right? Your marketing strategies, how do I get in front of a lot of people to create lead gen? And so YouTube is a great way to do that. So as he was working on real estate, he loved working around personal development. He just didn't know how to get out there until he decided YouTube and podcasting would be his way. Now, he really loves podcasts, or excuse me, he really loves YouTube. And if you check out his channel, The Passionate Few, Omar the Rockstar, he has an incredible cha uh, channel and show where he interviews people like Ed Milog, Grant Cardone, and all the who's who's in Hollywood, or at least in the personal development space, I'll say. and there he taught and now he's teaching people how he's getting in their inboxes how he's getting people to open how he's able to get these people booked how you you know when you book them what do you do you don't just do an interview and how do you do an interview and so people are wanting to learn this to grow their brand and they're coming to him for coaching they're coming to him for help and how to do that and so he's taking advantage of of that and so he went through a hard time in the beginning Right, he was, you know, reaching out to people, wasn't getting the feedback or the responses he wanted, and so he just kept testing. He said, you know, he get failure after failure after failure, but he just kept going. He had this mindset that all I need is one to say yes. That's all I need is one to say yes. Right, and he did. And as and as we coach him through it, he was being more consistent, and all of a sudden he cracked the code. And people who were the who's who started responding saying, yeah, I'd love to, you know? And then he started dialing in the, the channel, the, the interviews. He started dialing in the process of how he does the interviews. Now, before COVID, he was doing all in person and it was great, why? Because, you know, you get to see both people on camera and you get to meet them and connect with them and have behind the scenes conversations. And then you start creating this association that, Oh, you know, the passionate few, Grant Cardone, passionate few, and Mylock, right? And so you start creating these associations and his channel started to grow. He started getting more credibility when he would reach out to other, you know, high influencers and they would say, well, oh, Grant Cardone did it? Yeah, let me do it, right? And all of a sudden he started getting more people and all of a sudden his channel, you know, well, it started blowing up. People started reaching out left and right. And then he had to find a way. He's like, how do I monetize this? And he started coaching people and charging people. And we started working around some of the breakthroughs around pricing because his time, he was just, his calendar was packed. He had no time. And so we had to help him break through and charge more and, and even charge more for his time. And then we started thinking, how can we create courses that people can get what you know, but not pay as much, but can, a lot more people can be able to you know, learn what you know. And so he started breaking through a lot of these barriers that, as people were reaching out. And so YouTube then started paying him. Once he had a thousand subscribers and over 4,000 watch hours in one year, YouTube started to pay him. So now he has people paying him for his services, teaching them how to get people on podcasts, teach pe people learning how to get, you know, people like Grant Cardone to open up their, their, uh, their inbox on Twitter or Facebook or whatever pro uh, platform it might be. And so he started getting money that way and then he started getting money on uh, YouTube. 
YouTube paid him. And then as he starts going through, if a, if a client might have had someone that he was interviewing had a product, he could also get a referral code and put it in the descriptions of his podcast or mainly his YouTube. And when people bought, he got a commission on that. And so this didn't happen overnight. I want to be very clear. This doesn't happen overnight. <clears throat> but what it did do is it started giving him confidence every step he took. We had to coach him through his mindset along this way, but he kept he was a brilliant student. He kept going. And then he finally, like I said, cracked the code. And now, after doing all the hard work, he's now living the rewards and reaping the rewards. And so some of you, you're wondering like, how am I gonna be able to do this? Or do I have enough time to do this? Or is it worth it? Well, you gotta figure that out. You gotta say, why am I doing this? What's the life that I wanna create? I wanna master life by design. I wanna control life, not have life control me. It's a whole different process. And so your side hustle, you're gonna have failures. It's gonna hurt, you're gonna have downs. You're gonna have moments where you feel like you wanna give up. I'm telling you this now. After coaching 17,000 coaching calls, thousands of people around the world, I see those patterns and personally having it, I know the entrepreneurial game, the side hustle for extra money or ideas on how to create a side income and side hustle, it can hurt. It can hurt in that process. But the ones that keep going, who are consistent, they're the ones that are gonna succeed. And so YouTube and podcasting is a great way to get out your wisdom, your knowledge, your experience, or even your talent to the world. And just like my client Omar the Rockstar did with the Passionate View, that's how over time, you know, people reaching out, he's been able to create almost a million dollars that once started as just a passion for helping people on the side. It was just a side hustle. And he had no clients, no customers, no viewers, nothing. But he started the journey. He went through the pain, he went through the challenges, but now he's reaping the rewards. And if you watch him, he's in the best you know, locations, you know, interviewing people with the beach behind him and Malibu and all over the world. And he's got some incredible people who pour a ton of great knowledge. Plus, guess what? You got these high influencers, you got them on your cell phone. Right? You got these people on your cell phone, you could text them, call them. He has that ability. If he has a challenge or needs something, you know, within reason, right? They're not just gonna give give them uh, you know, just anything, but you know, if it's within reason, he can reach out to them. Or if he wants to do a second interview or a series, he can do that. And just like we're doing this three-part video series, this is number three. So if you haven't watched the first two, go back and watch them. But he can do that. But that's the benefits of creating a side hustle when you focus, when you become a master in one and not dabble in all these other areas. He became a master at podcasting and YouTube and all of a sudden he cracked the code and now almost a million dollars later, he's living his dreams. He's doing what he loves. That doesn't mean that it's easy. Doesn't mean that he doesn't stress out. Doesn't mean that he doesn't have a ton of pressure and on timetables and crunches and loses sleep. Look, as an entrepreneur, those things happen. You got to take advantage of it and I, that's for sure and so if you're not built for that if you're not willing to work on that muscle then this game isn't for you a side hustle is not for you you might want to just keep it simple and then like i said in our last video you may want to just do uber or lyft or doordash keeping it simple for you so you don't have that pressure you just got to be able to get one thing to another area and you get paid on that but if you want to go to that next level if you want to get out of your nine to five and create a side hustle that can be a full-time hustle all of a sudden you pick one area just like my client did and now he's made almost a million dollars and beyond moving forward and so that can be you you just got to decide what is it so pick one area that you're going to be a master and know what it is that you want to achieve in that area know why you want it and i'm telling you when you plug into that why every day and you keep on one foot in front of the other and the other it's like my channel it, you know i started with zero people and it's growing is it growing at like 10,000 subscribers a day no will it one day yeah sure when i'm consistent the biggest thing is if you want to know the secret you got to add value if you want to create more money, extra money, side hustle that creates more money, you got to get add value to people in some way, shape or form. And the more value you add to more people, the more money you can make. But if you focus on the money, it's going to be challenging. Focus on adding value. The money will come. That's why I don't worry about money. I'm focused on how can I add as much value to you, the, the listener, as possible. When I do that, I know the money will come in time. I know people are reaching out already saying, hey, how can I have a coach? How can you coach me? How can you help me? I wanna start a YouTube channel, what can I do? I have those people reaching out. And so 
maybe that's you. Maybe you do need a breakthrough. Maybe you do need help with being consistent. So go ahead and subscribe in there, or subscribe. Yeah, go ahead and subscribe to the channel for sure, right? Because we're putting out three videos a week for you guys in the area of relationship, personal uh, you know, finances and business, and then personal development. But you may be one of those people that needs a breakthrough. You need a coach in your corner. Go ahead and go to the application page in the description below. Myself, my wife, or one of our coaches, we'll come in. We'll come in and break, make those breakthroughs happen, right? And we do it every day, which is so cool. And I love helping clients around the world create their breakthrough. So with that, if you found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe, like I said, please subscribe and let us know. Comment, say, hey, I subscribe. I wanna give you a shout out when you subscribe. And look, you know, I'll tell you this. When it came to me I, in the past, creating a side hustle, coaching was my side hustle. Coaching was my side hustle. I was doing network marketing. I was going to school. I was doing some door to or door to door sales and you know uh, home energy upgrade sales. I was doing that stuff, and coaching was my side hustle. And I started working with a company, building up in there, learning my skill set, you know, getting the skills, gaining the skills necessary. And I started my own business. That was my side hustle. And now Master Life by Design does great. We do six figures plus every year. We help them, a lot of people out. We get referrals all the time. This was once a dream. This was once a side hustle for some extra money just to make ends meet or to do the things that we wanted to do. But now it provides a lifestyle for us. Maybe you need that. Maybe by you mastering one area, something like podcasting or YouTubing, you could be able to create so many other revenue streams just from this, that your side hustle becomes your full-time gig and provides a lifestyle. And there's so many people out there. And I look at so many other people like Project Life Mastery, Meet Kevin. I'm looking at these guys that have great channels and I highly encourage you guys to check them out. But they're, they created this side income in the beginning and now it's their full time and it creates a lifestyle for them that's hands down second to none. So if you're wondering, is it worth it to create a side hustle in 2021? The answer is absolutely yes. And we're in the best time ever to do it with online stuff. And if you don't want to, if you want to be like my client who made almost a million dollars, go into podcasting and YouTubing. If you have something valuable to get out to the world, you can do it. But it takes work. It takes consistently overcoming the fears and you know, the challenges, the sacrifices that it takes. So with that, I hope you found value in this video. My name is Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. You guys have a great one. See ya.